So now in this video, we're going to look at my first condenser microphone circuit right there. And I don't do audio electronics. I know a lot of electronics enthusiasts really love audio electronics. It probably looks horrible to them. But in uh, any case, it's doing what I hoped it would do right there. It's picking up my uh, voice and then going pretty smooth when it isn't, at least by my standard right there. And this isn't a lot of voltage. So now I'm going to open the door. and close it. It seems to really like uh, doors opening and closing. seems to pick it up uh, no matter where they are opening and closing within the house. So in any case it is a, a pretty simple circuit. Let's zoom in and uh, look at it a little closer. So this is just the oscilloscope. That's what's taking the measurement. You see this capacitor basically goes off to nowhere. So it goes to the input of whatever you want to give the uh, signal to. So voltage is going up and down here. So this is a 0.1 microfarad, as you can see here. That's the same as 100. There's a decimal point between the zero and the one. That's the same as 100 nanofarad. So that's the one going to the oscilloscope. The one that is parallel to the condenser microphone, that is a 10 nanofarad. So one tenth of the capacitance. It takes one billion, with a B, nanofarads to equal one farad. And it takes one million microfarad to equal one farad. And uh, so that U shape is actually the Greek letter mu. So that is a 100 nanofarad or 0.1 microfarad. And that one is the 10 nanofarad. So we don't quite need the one parallel to the condenser right there. But when I pluck it, you can see it is pretty uh, staticky or whatever you would call it. So audio electronics is not really my thing. It's interesting, but I never got around to really studying it. I did take a class in high school, though. But there you can see if I stay quiet, it gets quite a bit smoother than it does without the capacitor. So that was pretty important. This is a 10 kilo ohm resistor right here. So. 10k, 10 kilo ohm, 10,000 ohm. And I tried a 1 kilo ohm, 100 kilo ohm. This one by far worked the best. I don't even think those other two worked at all. And then we'll look at the uh, condenser microphone. So you can see here we got these uh, traces that connect to the body. So the body and uh, this pin here, they're connected together. They go to ground. This side that uh, isn't connected to anything but the pin that goes to the positive supply through that uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor right there. So the side with the traces are down here and we are connected over there. And so that's really about it. Of course this is only outputting each one of these squares, each one of these divisions up and down is only uh, 10 millivolts. So that's ten thousandths of a volt. It would take a thousand millivolts to equal one volt. So the voltage is very small. Of course we have to uh, amplify this and uh, usually that's what I see when I see circuits that have the condenser microphone or whatever. It has a bunch of amplification after it but I want to break it down into parts while I learn it and then later on when I when I uh, demonstrate them like this. And because uh, a massive circuit you got to know what each part's doing to know what the whole thing's doing. And uh, so, in any case, there you can see my voice. That's about it. It seems to pick up uh, low uh, sounds a lot better than high uh, sounds. But uh, there you can see it. And uh, that's really about it. So, hope you enjoy the uh, video. Uh, check out one of these other videos that I'm posting. Make sure you click subscribe, like, and the bell so you get updates. I will see you in the next video.